Hey guys, it's Amanda. Um, let me start off with a few things. So today I am showing you how I edit my Instagram pictures. And this is up really late because I filmed this earlier. It was on time. A video was going to go up. But then um, my computer decided to be all slow. This happens a lot. Um, so then I spent a ton of time trying to figure that out. Then I decided, you know what, I just I can't do it. i got to go to my other computer. Tried to go to my other computer. Then the clips, the actual clips were just not working. It wasn't the computer. And I was working on it for so long. And finally I was like, okay, I just have to refilm and edit it. So here I am. Happy St. Patrick's Day. If you're watching this on the day that I upload, um, I promise I'm wearing green. I'm wearing... So I'm just gonna go and show you all of my editing apps. Let's get started, I guess. The first one is Afterlight. This one costs money, but it's really worth it. I got it because my sister bought it, and it was like under the same iTunes store name, whatever, so I just downloaded it too. But this is really awesome. Let's do a new photo. I would upload, like, let's say selfie. I'll show you an example with selfie. You can hear that noise. That's actually my shoe. I should probably take my shoes off. Why am I wearing shoes? This will be... Our example picture. The filter that I usually use on this is under the guest and it's Russ. That, I don't know, that's just the one I always use. Sometimes I'll use one of the black and whites, but not usually. Like Ash is really pretty in Raven, but I usually just use Russ for this app. I'm just gonna choose Russ and then um, on the thing next to the filters, it looks kind of like a camera roll or film strip and it has overlays so it says dusty light leak and instant film i use the light leaks a lot and there's a ton of them so i just kind of try out whatever one i think looks best with the picture uh say i choose number one it's really bright and i don't like that so i just turn down what is that that looks cute so i'm just going to choose that one and the next thing that i use on here that i get questions about is the border that looks like a Polaroid. This comes with all these frames. It has like original and type, which has like letters and st numbers and stuff on it. But I use the instant film. The instant film doesn't come with it when you buy it. You have to add that on, which I did. Um, so you can just kind of put all these borders around it to make it look like a Polaroid. I've done that before. Uh, I usually use the like skinny long one that looks like the actual mini Polaroid. Um, but I wouldn't usually like use it for this kind of picture. I wouldn't use it for a selfie like this or with the light leak and the frame. I'm just showing you this for example. So I just have like all of this stuff on it right now. And that is how you get like the frame around it to look like the Polaroid if you want a fake Polaroid. And the filter that I use on that one and how I use the light leaks. Next app is called Photo Studio. And this is what I use when I get the 3D effect. This is what I get the most questions on. It just looks like kind of blurred. So this app, it looks like that. And I just press camera roll. I'm going to choose the same picture that I took. And I just choose. Then I go to add effect. Then scroll down to SFX and choose 3D effect. So it looks just like that blurry 3D effect. I think it looks really cool for a lot of pictures. So you can adjust how blurry or 3D it looks. Um, I usually do like in the middle, depending on what the picture is, you know? It's good that has adjustment so you can choose for what picture you're using. So that is how I get that 3D effect. For the next one, this is Luzmo. I'm actually not going to show it to you because I don't use it. Um, but the next one is Square Ready. I really like this for putting pictures, like sque squeezing them in the side. This is basically, you could just take whatever picture and you put it in. It has white bars around it so that it can fit onto Instagram. But this one's a little bit difficult if you just want the white bars. So I use this one for like a variation of that. I'm going to take this picture and it gives it in the square, but then you just pinch it and you can move it around anywhere you want. A lot of times I put it like in the corner. I think it looks cool like that. Or a lot of people do this. I don't do this. Like they put it in the center so there's white bars all around it. For photo collage, that is a pretty simple app, like everyone should have one. I really like this one because I don't like the borders in them. So if you want like a mirrored look, you can just put two of the same picture in the square. Go to style and I adjust the border. I don't like how you can make it thicker or thinner, but I don't like that. So I just take it all off. You can also just adjust the ratio. So what kind of shape you want it in, like whether you want it in a square or a rectangle, like 
all that stuff. And then I do edit and I orientation, flip, done, and it is mirrored. That's how you get like a mirrored picture or pictures that you wanna put next to each other. You can do two different pictures, that looks really cool. Um, it's just something that you can use for a lot of things. Any kind of pictures you wanna put together, this is what I use. Next one is ViscoCam, and that is my favorite app. I'm not exactly sure if this one costs money, but it really is worth it if it does cost money, because it is my favorite, and I use it for pretty much everything. I just add a picture, we'll take the one that I took earlier. I use a lot of filters on this one, because they're all really awesome. The filter that I use most is T1, That's like the Russ, I kind of, they kind of look the same, but I usually use T1 on all of my pictures. Um, a lot of the ones I use X1, um, B1, and B5, because those are all the black and white ones. Those black and white ones on here are really pretty too, so that's usually what I use for my black and white. T1 and X1 are my favorite. There's also a lot of other filters that are really pretty too, they're like, very vintage looking, so I really like that look to um, pictures if you add those. It is just so awesome, and when I found out, I just started using this. Um, if you take a picture and it's too dark on your face or something, you can just go to the tools, press the little sun, and you can adjust the exposure so it makes it brighter or darker. I'd never want it to be darker because if you turn the exposure down too low, then you can see all my dark circles. Mm -mm. Then wood around, this is what I use if my picture is a rectangle and I want it to fit on Instagram because Instagram, you can only put squares in. So you just upload the picture and it puts these white bars around it so that it is a square and you can go upload it straight to Instagram. Next one is Fonto. I don't use that ever. Touch Blur, this is what I use just for like privacy stuff. Um, it's really simple. I use this for like my cheer uniform, I, t I took a picture in my cheer stuff and they had a little logo right here, so I just blurred it out so you couldn't see where I cheered. The picture, you can zoom into somewhere where you need to get closer to it and then just run your finger over it and it blurs it. Snapseed, I don't ever use, I don't know why I still have it. Characters, I use this for the hearts, like the empty hearts like that that I put um, in my like captions of my Instagram pictures, if it has like just the empty heart, then I use this. It has a lot of other things too, but I just use it for the heart. I go to the pencil, press the heart, copy text, and then I could just paste it anywhere that I want it. Now this one is a little cheat cheat for you guys. I was trying to find a pimple remover because I have this one right here that won't go away, and every selfie that I take, it looks like it's just staring at the camera. So I found this thing, and it's called mole remover, but I, I use it for like pimples. I actually only used it once on one picture, but I'll show you what I used it for. Um, I just take a picture. Here's the one I used it on. Um, I just zoom in to it, and then you put the circle around it, and then press nuke, and poof. It is pretty much gone, so that is awesome. But to save it, you have to pay money, and I'm like, mm-mm. So I just kind of screenshotted it, and then zoomed in and cropped it, whatever, so I could upload it. But that's what I did. So that was it. Those are all the apps that I use to edit my Instagram pictures. I hope you learned something from this. Comment down below what your favorite editing apps are. Um, if you use anything different because I'd love to get some more. Try some things out. Hope you guys enjoyed this and thank you so much for watching. Bye.